Jack, what's wrong? You! What are you talking about? What did I do? You told Martha that I was on a date. What was that all about? No, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean that. She asked me where you were and I jokingly said that you were on a date with Sarah. I thought Martha knew that you and Sarah were just friends. She started feeling suspicious after you said that. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know. I didn't mean to screw anything up. Martha gets jealous easily and it took a while to convince her that Sarah was just a friend. Now, I have to explain to Sarah that I can't hang around her because of you. Look, I really didn't mean to. And next time I see Martha, I'll really tell her that you and Sarah are really just friends. Don't bother. I can't wait to go skiing tomorrow. I know, it's going to be so much fun. I always get excited the day before. I used to be like that, but I go skiing so often I don't get excited anymore. I only go skiing twice a year, so it's a real treat for me. That makes sense. What things make you excited? Whenever I go to Vegas, I get really excited. Oh, that makes me excited too. Looks like anything fun makes you excited. Hey Jack, are you excited about starting work? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. What was more exciting, starting college or starting work? They're pretty similar, but in different ways. I really can't decide. How about you? For me, I think starting school was more exciting. Does that mean work isn't that great? It's different for everyone, but because I knew school was going to be so much fun, I really got excited about it. But work is a huge portion of our lives. I'm looking forward to making it fun. That's a great attitude to have. I don't think you'll have any problems in the workforce. I hope you're right. You don't look too well. What's going on? I just lost my job. I'm just worried about how I'm going to pay the bills. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you been looking for another job? I just started, but the job market is very bad right now. I'm not optimistic about it. That's tough. What does your wife think about this? She's trying to be supportive, but I can tell she's very worried about her financial situation as well. I have some friends who might be able to help you find a job. I'll see what they can do. I really appreciate your help. No problem. In the meantime, don't try to worry so much. You'll get through this. Hi, Jackie. You don't look too well. What's going on? It's nothing. I'm just a little stressed out. Why? What's stressing you out? School. Since I was working part-time, I had a difficult time keeping up with class. Now that we have exams coming up, I'm totally freaking out. The best thing to do is study as much as you can. I'm sure you'll do all right. I hope so. I guess I won't be sleeping for the next three days. That's what it'll take. I have to study for an exam, too. Why don't we study together? We can encourage each other. That will be great. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Nothing planned. How about you? Work is kicking my ass. I'm so stressed. Let's go grab a drink. I'm always up for a drink. To tell you the truth, it's been quite stressful here too. I say we get drunk tonight. I don't want to think about all this stuff. But we have to work tomorrow. We won't stay out too late. I just need to forget about work. I hear you. Let's do it. Hey Mike, what are you doing? Nothing much. What are you up to? I was just concerned about Sam. He hasn't been himself lately. He took the civil service exam and failed. That sucks. He must feel depressed. Yeah, he's been sitting in his room every day for the last four days. Why don't we take him out? We can try to take his mind off of it. In the least, show him that we're there for him. That's a great idea. Why don't you call him? I already talked to him a couple of times, and it might be good for him to hear from somebody else. Okay, I'll call you back after I'm done. Sounds good. Hello? Hey, Tina. What are you doing? I was just watching TV. What's going on with you? I just watched a movie and I'm scared. What did you watch? I saw The Sixth Sense. I didn't know it was going to be so scary. I remember that. It was a great movie, but it was definitely scary. If you're not busy, do you want to come over? I'm afraid to be alone. Sure, I can come over. What should we do? How about if we watch a comedy? I need something to get my mind off the frightening images I have from The Sixth Sense. Okay, I'll get ready and leave. I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Hurry, okay? It's dark out. Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen. I'll be there real soon. Okay. See you soon. Hey, Mark. What are you doing? Just watching some TV. Anything interesting on? Not really. Just watching the sports highlight on ESPN. So I take it you're pretty bored, too. Just killing some time until I find something to do. What are you going to do? It's Saturday, and we're sitting at home doing nothing. What's wrong with us? You want to go shoot some hoops? I already tried to call up some of the guys, but they're all busy. 
Where's your girlfriend? I thought you were going to go out with her today. She's out shopping with her friends. Let's go to Starbucks and think of something to do then. Alright. Do you have any cigarettes? I only have a couple left. Why don't you pick up some on the way? Okay. See you there in about 30 minutes. Alright. See you there. Why the long face? I'm getting sick of work, man. I can't take the political bullshit in the company anymore. Did you just get your review or something? Yeah, but that's not why I'm upset. I just found out another guy got a promotion. He doesn't know how to do anything. He sits there and kisses the manager's butt all day long. That sucks. I'm just pissed that management can't see behind his smooth talking lies. Look on the bright side, at least you have a job. Yeah, I shouldn't stress about this anymore. It's not like I can do anything about it. Exactly. Instead, we should have some drinks tonight. How about a cold bottle of beer? Now you're talking.